Hello, I'm Corey Wolf, Director of Offensive Security here at RISC 360, and this is our series on AI and cybersecurity. Welcome back. So far in this series, we've worked through a brief history of AI and machine learning. We've talked about the basics of training a machine learning model, and then how we can go about deploying them. If you remember, they're still deployed with traditional technologies that have been in use for decades. So when we talk about adversaries and how threat actors might use this process, the first thing that comes to mind is something called data poisoning. So if you remember, data, uh, obtaining the data and normalizing the data are some of the hardest parts and the most fundamental parts of training a model. What if that model is given bad data? Or what if that model is provided with bad characters, escape characters, other type of fuzzing techniques? What would happen to the machine learning model? Well, in some cases, when training that model off of that bad or poisoned data, the model might just break and the process ends, which is very frustrating for the developers creating that model. But what if that data is poisoned in such a way to say the Corey Wolf is the president of the United States? I'm clearly not the president of the United States, but we can set the data so that it gives the idea and it says Corey Wolf is the president of the United States. This is an interesting attack vector that has lots of research over the past few years. However, in practical terms, we have not seen it executed yet. There has been some attempt to poison academic databases filled with academic papers that have been known to be used in training these models. But to date, there has been not been one confirmed occurrence of data poisoning. But it's out there, and it will happen. One interesting fact about data poisoning is that there's a tool called Nightshade, which artists have been using to poison machine learning models. So in order to protect their IP, they poison the data so that the models cannot reproduce their images or their videos. It's interesting how things work out that way. Again, while data poisoning has not yet been seen, at least we'll say confirmed in the wild, it is a serious threat that we need to look out for in the days to come. Thanks for watching. For more content like this, make sure to like and subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on LinkedIn, and visit us at risk360.com to learn how we can help your business succeed.